So today I built a PC and I wanted to just log my journey. Out of curiosity, I just looked up like building a computer and like what that entails. Honestly, it got me kind of hooked. I was like, this looks kind of fun. And like based on like these videos, it doesn't seem that hard. So like, let's give it a go. I ended up building one. Um, this is why this video is here. And um, check it out. Check it out. We're building! Shout out to my brother for uh, three parts. <laughs> There are so many cables. Why is it so stiff? Like this CPU. Power. Where is it? This is too messy to be a, a helpful video. I'm turning it on. It's not going to turn it on. I'm turning it on right now. Three, two. One. Usually you can tell it because the graphic card lights up, but you don't have your graphics card in. Mall. It's only on in, in on one side. Yeah, you have to use force. Oh, I plugged. Three, two, one. Arrow. Arrow is going into the wall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In one minute. Is it going? Yeah. I'm not sure. It's not going. Oh, it definitely has thermal paste coming out. What happens if you put too much thermal paste? Gonna work. Like this. Oh gosh, don't break, don't break. <laughs> don't break now. They painted the mesh panel, uh, the side mesh ish things. Track my switches and stuff. So it's looking like this. And then all the front stuff is in the back. Why? Get it in. All right. Hey, I 
powered on everything. Fan's turning. Fan here is turning. The graphics card is turning. So I'm gonna put everything in neatly. These cables are not managed. You bend. You bend. I think that's the end. You're done. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but I don't. Uh, there's no hole. There's no hole for me. So I kind of just want to like tie them together. So this is after I've attempted uh, cable management and um, you can see there's a lot of space left but I think it's pretty neat like if I put my hand through here like all the cables are in one like loop-ish maybe I'll just put it in the front like this and then just shove it in. <laughs> okay, it's pretty clean. Um, okay. <gasps> so this, the case on top, I think it like, goes in the front. And then, I'm gonna screw it in. <laughs> so I finished building and Let's go check out the performance. This is the <laughs> performance. Um, let's check out the CPU. Um, it's kind of spiky, but you can see that the average temperature is around like mid 60s, which I don't know if that's good, but I think for a small case, um, that's okay. And I don't really know. Uh, what any of this means um but i mean 41 degrees looks seems like it's pretty cool um here are the system specs as um i have put in the description and i might change or upgrade my ram to a faster one in the future but nothing beats a free part this isn't really helpful for uh you guys but Maybe somebody out there knows better and you can find this information useful for yourself. Um, all right, let's go back. I would say it was half worth it. I think it would have been so much better if I planned ahead because I spent a lot of time just putting it in, taking it apart, and then realizing that I need to do something else and then I had to put it in, yeah, it was just like, but no regrets I really like how it turned out and the paint um, also is very nice I built this as a pretty much a computer noob like I didn't even know the difference between like RAM and SSD <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and um, good luck to you if you are planning to build one it's not that hard Bye. All of this was less than 600 before tax.